All right, so we're back here at Universal Studios Florida today to give you guys a food guide, the ultimate food guide. The food just got announced yesterday. I also want to apologize about yesterday's video because the audio was really bad. And I'm sorry about that. Like, it was just me editing. I apologize. But today we're here, we're at the park. We're gonna go see what all the food options are. We're gonna go show you where all the food booths are. So let's get into the park. We're on a time crunch. Tonight is team member preview for the team members. So it's 3.30, we have till six o'clock. So we're gonna have to do this diligently and effectively. So let's get in there and see everything. And on my way in, if you're wondering what it's gonna look like when it comes down to opening of the park, it's gonna have a very similar entrance to this. So one giant walkway down the center and then going left or right for guest entrances. Usually they close off one side about an hour and a half, two hours before park open. Well, park close. So this is what it'll look like. Now the first food booth we're gonna come across, we come straight here and it is the Insidious booth. You guys have seen it, it's beautiful, got the red door. And here's all the food items. We have the red door, potato and onion filled hand pie, which when I saw this, I thought it was a cookie. So I'm happy that it's something different. Eggs in the further with jalapeno brioche egg in the hole with, I can't pronounce this, so good luck, and feta cheese. And then we have a last key pop, which is a red velvet, oh, it sounds so good, red velvet cake pop. And then the drink is the Veil of Shadows. It's a white claw, not bad. I don't know, this might be the year that I try some drinks. Also another huge positive, there's also a non-alcoholic version called Beyond the Veil. So, it's cool, nice to see. They also have the menu right here, right when you come to check out. I think the item that I'm most excited for on this booth in general is probably this red velvet cake pop. That last key. Sounds really good, but also the red door also sounds good. Those are the two things I'm excited for. But, oh look, they added a doorknob. This doorknob was not here last time I was here. But now we're going to go across over there and go look at the Twilight Tavern. And here at the Twilight Tavern, we have the menus right here in the fog fish and chips forbidden falafel the bride's cake and then the specialty drinks which is a spice cider Sar sarcophagus yeah sarcophagus spice cider and then a curse cranberry vodka spritz hmm. very nice this sounds good now i know lexi is super excited to try the in the fog fish and chips i'm probably with her on that it actually sounds really good Huge fan of fish and chips, so hopefully she's good. And we're gonna come down here to the Twisted Tater booth and see what they have over there as well. Here at the Twisted Tater booth, obviously, very simple, straight to the point. We got Twisted Taters. Sour cream and chive, garlic parm, and salt. So I usually always go with the garlic parm. That's usually my favorite thing. Very nice, very simple. And also, if you wanna get something special here, you can get a lacto cooler, but Garlic parm is my go-to twisted tater. And speaking about getting twisted, over here we have one of the bars. And it's gonna be kind of hard for me to read this from here, and the fans are probably gonna be going crazy, but we got ghoul juice, creepy cola, dead, meridian, and then surreal soda. And then premium cocktail, so you can mix your own drink with your choice of liquor. So that's kind of cool. I mean, the bar looks nice, looks fun. Love to see it, but. I'm excited for, let's see, probably Gold Juice coming back. It's been a hit every year. And going away from the bars and the Twisted Tater booth, we have the Ghostbusters booth, which this is probably one of the things I'm beyond excited for. Also, look how freaking cute this guy is. Boop. All right. But we have Slimer's Korean Corn Dog. I don't know if I'm going to try this or not. The Ghost Pepper Spice is the only thing that's keeping me away, but I might. Then the Frozen Death Chill which I don't know how I feel about that, but we'll find out, right? But here's the thing that I am super excited for. This mini Stay Puffs More sounds amazing. I'm a huge marshmallow guy, you guys should know this. If you guys don't know that, I love it so much, but it is fantastic. And then right over here, we have two of the drinks. Ooh, 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 that sounds really good. No, but for sure, this is the item that I'm most excited for. Stay Puffs more and also the menus it's just four different lines so it's the same exact menu just displayed differently so yeah it's pretty cool hang in there little guy you're doing great and that's that for the like Ghostbusters booth right now we're going to go up to Sting Alley and go take a peek at the Quiet Place booth so 
Oh look, still don't like you pickles. This is so sad. So if you watched the movie, you would know why this is very sad. I wonder if this TV's gonna work. Who knows, but there's also some stuff here that wasn't here before. I love the little details that have been added, but now we need to go look at the menu and see what they got over here. I know I came the wrong way, but gotta come look. So we have Abbott Family's Corn Chowder, Millbrook's Baked Beans, and then Wooden Board Eclair. And then for drinks, we have the Raining Blood, which you can get in a souvenir light bulb. Which is funny, because like all this in here has like the red light bulbs all over. But hey, right now, hmm, I think that corn chowder is probably the thing I'm most excited for here. Maybe the eclair? But the chowder, I don't know. I like the vibe. But it's also weird, because it's going to be super hot. And drinking something super hot or eating something super hot isn't really a vibe. But hey, it's cool nonetheless. Also, it's a little weird to me, but there's no like bar here. There's usually a bar in this section. But at the moment, there's nothing. I wonder if that's, that's just weird. I don't know. But hey, they've also added this little directional sign thing here since the last time I've been here. So very nice, very chic. There's also no booth here. So this is where they had the Chucky booth last year and there's no food booth here. I don't know. Very odd, but I get it. This is a very like crowded area, so who knows. Now this does put a smile on my face. It may be hard to tell, but Major Sweets has completely taken over the San Francisco Candy Factory. So up here you have Major Sweets Candy Co, Major Sweets Candy Co, and Major Sweets and down all these banners. And then over here, kind of, sneak up on it major sweets on the wall that's awesome so he's on this side and he's also on the opposite side there's also a bunch of stuff here with the blood soak in and we also have some information on what's going to be here in this booth well candy store all right so we are inside of the candy factory and major sweet is also on the wall so i'm going to tell you what they have on the menu sorry that i have to look at my phone but it's the only way i can do this so we have a poison apple, African lentil and potato sabusa coffin. So it's essentially just like a dough pie. And then a Cyclops cup, which is a frozen peanut butter cup with a candy eyeball. And then for beverages, we're gonna have a sour cherry lemonade boba. And if I'm being honest, for me, the most thing, the thing that I'm most excited for is probably the sour cherry lemonade boba. Like I love lemonade, I love boba. A one two punch, you can't go wrong. Major Sweet, thank you for doing everything that you're doing, and I can't wait to see you on Friday, brother. It's gonna be so much fun. But that's all we have here. Now, I'm not 100% sure that if it's going to be in here, it makes sense for it to be in here, or if it's going to be in a booth. There's no booth set up outside, but everything in here is set up for Major Sweets. So, my guess is that it's in here. We'll find out. I don't know. And since this is a foodie god, I'd be remiss not to mention these jelly beans. So yeah, there's jelly beans here in the Blumhouse zone. So very cool. Ah yes, the Fanta bar. Let's go see if this one's different than the one up front. Let's go find out. So just peeking at it, it is the same exact setup as the one in Transformers. So same stuff, ghoul juice, surreal soda, black cat reprieve, and oh no, it's different. Sinister's rights. Spirits? Spirits. Yeah, all together. Pretty cool. Very exciting. They also have some tables set up. So like these are the light up tables that they had back by the Coca-Cola stuff last year. Very nice, very nice, very cool. They also brought back the same seats that they had for the Peacock Bar. No Peacock Bar, big sad for me, but hey, we have the Fanta Bar. Don't you want a Fanta? Don't you want to want a Fanta? Going from one Fanta Bar to the other, yeah, it's all the same, well, similar. This just, they all have like one different drink. Like this one has the Eye of Otis. A mocktail version available too so very nice so yeah just one different drink like that one had the sinister drink the other one had the surreal drink but one also had it i'm not sure what the difference is between all the all the bars but this one has the eye of otis which i will definitely try at least once hopefully directly across from the fanta bar we have the goblins feast themed food booth and this one will have harissa's barbecue turkey wing Pumpkin Guts, which I saw a picture of, I'm not a fan. And Goblin Pie. 
That sounds really good. It's an apple pie. It's, ooh. That's what I'm gonna try there, goblin pie. That's the item that I'm most excited for here. So this is not food related at all, but the exits are now here. So the exits to the houses, or entrance is probably exits, but we have a new walkway. This has never been here. Used to just be all grass and greenery, so. Very cool, this is the first I'm gonna go. Don't really wanna go to the facade, but it's cool to see, very nice. I love when new things happen at Horror Nights. Chief Wiggums and his car are both gone now. Very sad times, very sad times indeed. This food truck back here is actually themed to Triplets of Terror. So you're invited to the birthday party. So there's a say cheeseburger, which I would probably get this just without the lettuce. Oh, there's pickle ale. I don't know. Maybe I'll get it share with Lexi. That's a bloody goody burger. Oh no, my bad. <laughs> bloody goody bag, which is chicken for all. Oh, that sounds really good. That actually sounds really good. I might try that. And then Slasher Siblings Sweet Sampler. So a balloon which is mousse a cupcake and a chocolate cheesecake cone oh and then we have a flight that you can get it's cool that it all like it comes in threes because it's the triplets of terror so yeah out of these i would probably say this bloody good bag is probably the thing that i'm really most excited for out of everything on this menu but yeah it's pretty much what i think now going from triplets we need to go to the carry drive-in this way actually now this is the drinks Got the Shirley Black, which is the signature drink for this location. Hmm, okay, okay. Now this is all the bar here. And then we cross over to this side. This is where the food is going to be. So that whole side is the bar. This whole side is the food. So we have the summer camp dog. Honestly, without the relish, I might get that. Ropa Vieja, walking taco. I know Lexi's so excited for that. Rocks from Hell, Jalapeno, ah, nah, that's not for me either. We got a vegan walking taco and then cinema popcorn. So it's Flamin' Hot Cheetos popcorn. Nice, very cool, very nice touch. But obviously, going with that ropa vieja, that's what both me and Lexi will both be very happy to see. And if you were worried at all in any way, shape, or form about pizza fries not coming back to this location, do not fear, it is confirmed that the pizza fries will come over here but this time it will be the DreamWorks Imagination Cafe that will give you the pizza fries. So you can get your pizza fries right here or at Louie's. So your usual one-two punch, except for now this just has a different name. So get your pizza fries here. You can still call them kids on pizza fries, but they're your DreamWorks pizza fries now. So now it makes sense why they moved this sign over because they had to put this peacock stuff here. Face your fears. Got Freaky, Happy Death Day, The Purge, Insidious, and Teacup. Never seen Teacup, I have to watch it. But it's a nice little photo op. You can stand right here and go back and have someone just snap a quick picture of you. Boom, just like that. But it's obvious because they have that here. So they just moved it over just so they could put this photo op here, which is very nice. Very cool. Love all these, especially Happy Death Day. Great, but it's a nice little photo op. We'd love to see it. But now back to the food. Hello. And with today being team member preview, kind of confirms that that hanging moss is probably not coming back unless it comes back later in the event it's probably not coming back just because it fell that one time i think it's done though and now we have el mercado de los monstruos heartbeat tostada spinal column pinchos pork carnesería chocolate tres leches so the hispanic in me wants to love everything here however i'm kind of a very picky eater i would try this as long as i have someone else to eat it with me this just sounds decent. This right here is probably what I'm really excited for. Carnesaria. And then I would have to try this. Because I'm not a huge fan of Tres Leches. But I will always try something at least once to see if I like it. And then the drink is Depresadora. Depredadora. Depredadora. It's spicy. So, hmm. Don't know if I'll try that. But I think out of everything, Canizaria is probably what I'm most excited for here. And now going away from that, we're coming over here to Battery Park in which we have the HHN bar. Let's see if the drinks are different than the Fanta bars or if it's the same exact thing. I don't know. Let's go check and see. Hopefully it's different. Maybe a little different drink, but we'll find out now. Let's go look. And here we are at the bar. So we have Ghoul Juice, Murderita, and then Quick to Die Margarita and then you can also get your own drink made. But my favorite thing right now is I can see the Blinky Cups. 
they have sinister and surreal on them and according to that box they blink purple or at least these blink purple so very nice we love to see it it's a nice little touch when it comes down to horror nights we love our blinky cups it's a collectible every year a souvenir of drinking alcohol in the park who else wouldn't want it but nonetheless very exciting very exciting stuff and we turn around here and i didn't see this last time but now this is a photo op looking thing it has otis on it, it says halloween horror nights and then it says where horror lives also some tables added across the way and we have four stages one two three four so there was four more on the bottom i wonder if they had something go wrong during pre like pre like rehearsals but besides that no and then the stuff for sensational so sad that show's gone man it was such a good show but hey that's what we got for now i loved it thank you for the best show ever please come back soon but very excited nonetheless this is what i was looking for earlier so major sweets candy factory milk chocolate bar i'm going to buy this and i'm going to try this yes but it is inside of the universal studio store right now i don't know how much it is but we'll find out they also have a cherry berry mix i like that they're doing this like personalized things for horror nights it's not so much just here's a random thing i know they did it for mardi gras for many years finally happy to see it cross over to horror nights and there's also this stuff here i might try this one another day oh my god milk chocolate s'mores hold on dang i might wait to buy this one like buy this one with lexi so we could both try this but i'm for sure gonna try the milk chocolate bourbon flavored and then there's just a what is this a marshmallow treat like a rice krispie treat i don't know it's really cute but nonetheless those are all the treats we have so the purchase was made i bought the chocolate now it's a bourbon flavoring and when i was buying this the cashier told me that it smells just like you're opening up a bottle of bourbon so that has me very excited if you guys didn't know i am a bourbon drinker that is what i drink and here's the back side if you guys want some nutritional things very fun and then if you're wondering about the price it doesn't have a price on it so it's normally eight dollars and then i use my pass order discount so it came up to 724 so i'm going to try this now and let you guys know exactly how it is let's go with a taste test all right so we take it out very simple packaging nothing in there oh it smells so good oh gosh he was not kidding let's see if there's anything on the design probably not yeah no very simple just a regular chocolate bar it smells really good though oh it smells like straight chocolate it's hot outside so it's melting let's get a piece off ripped off a square let's see if this is worth the money mm. Mm, okay the taste is very strong don't worry you're not gonna get drunk eating this but it's pretty good like would i pay eight dollars for this again probably not but i will say it's pretty delicious like this is my official first horror nights item of the year so yay shout out major sweets for being number one on my hype list and number one in food that i've tried so far so shout out to you major sweet and that's pretty much everything there is in terms of food now of course there's the restaurants that are usually open like today cafe is going to be open a bunch of little miscellaneous things louis finnegan's all your casual stuff that's usually open minions cafe but that's pretty much everything when it comes down to food i'm excited for so much i'm going to try so many things i say that now and then usually by the time the event ends i've tried like five things hopefully this year i actually try at least one new item a week that's that's my goal and so far we're on a roll so chocolate is one thing and we'll move forward from there but i really hope that the food's good this year the booths are fantastic i'm just hoping that the food holds up that same par that same regimen but hey if you guys like this video do me a huge favor give it a thumbs up comment down below what food item you're most excited for for this year's event four nights is so close it starts on friday it's team member preview subscribe if you guys already haven't done so it's sex with my dudes